Hey guys, let's talk about how to connect a Samsung phone to a projector. As you can see, I have my Samsung phone here. It's a Samsung Flip. And here I have a projector, it's working. And I can also connect this one. This is a Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus, okay? I can use cables or I can connect without cables. Let's just show you here without cables how it works. So basically you need a projector with this Miracast feature here. You see uh, on the right side here on the screen, Miracast. When I come here to this Miracast, I just have this option here to connect my phone, right? So you see back there that I have this information about the receiver, right? Just right here. So I just need to look for this Miracast 6205. So let me just come here to my phone. There we go, approach here so you can see better. Then I just bring this down and here one more time. And you see here, let me just approach and get some focus. There we go. And you see that I have an option here for smart view, okay? That's the one. Then it's going to look for the device available and you see that it got here Miracast. And other devices here like Roku, for example, if you have also uh, Google TV you can also find here. Let me just use Miracast and it's connecting and it's working. See back there working. So super, super fast and works pretty fine. Okay. That's the Samsung Galaxy Flip. Works pretty fine. And I can just come back here and disconnect. So here, there is option here to disconnect or pause. I'm going to disconnect here. Now, let's just use the other one here. That's a Galaxy S8 Plus. Same thing here. I have Miracast back there working. Then I can just come here, drop this down one more time. And here you see that I have option for Smart View. There we go. Just look for this one. Here I have the Miracast. Just tap on it, wait for it to connect. With this phone, it takes a while, okay? So just be patient. Let me just put here so you see. Be patient with this one, but it's there, right? Takes a while compared to the Flip 6, but it works. It works pretty fine. You can use any application here that you want, right? If you don't have this Miracast option, you can connect something like uh, this one, for example, a Google Chromecast, and you can stream with the Google Google Chromecast because you have just a way to connect here via HDMI cable, right? Or I can also use a Fire Stick like this one. I have another video here in the channel showing how to use a Fire Stick, how to use a Google Chromecast. And the last option here is just to use a cable like this with HDMI. I'm just approach here so you see better that I have here HDMI. Come on, let's get some focus. Let me just put it here, that way. HDMI to USB-C, okay? That's the one. Then you can just connect to your phone and use Samsung DeX, for example, in older devices or just mirror with new devices. I'm just showing here that I can just connect to my phone. Let me just connect to the projector first here, the HDMI cable. And then I connect to my phone because I wanna show you that as soon as I connect, it's going to show the HDMI option, okay? So my projector is just uh, doing the refocus there. It does automatically. And now let me just come here to the, the phone. Or well, let me just uh, kill this connection first, okay? Disconnect here for Miracast. And then I come back there with my remote control. And I just go to HDMI. I've got some problem here, the focus. Let's just try to adjust this a little bit. There we go. Okay, home. There we go, okay. So I come here to the HDMI, to the right side. It's searching for a signal on HDMI. Then I just come here to my phone and I connect the cable. You see, as soon as I, I connect here, I just need to wait for a while. It's going to show HDMI connected, okay? Again, it's a Samsung Galaxy 8. You see back there, it's working already with the cable. 
Just simple like this. All right? Super, super simple. And there's also an option here to use, use DEX, Samsung DEX. You tap here to change to Samsung DEX. Then it's going to use, see it's loading back there. Okay. Then you come back here, use your cell phone as a touchpad. That's different. You see back there I have a screen and here I can control using this touchpad. You see that I control a mouse back there. And I can come here, for example, my files, double tap, select your videos, and play some video. Here, use the video player. There we go, loading, working pretty fine. So let's say, for example, you have a presentation or a video that you want to show from your cell phone. If you have this one, again, this is a Samsung S8 Plus, okay? Then you have this Samsung DeX option. If you don't have an, an old phone like this, if your is a flip phone, you can just mirror the phone, but you cannot use the Samsung DeX feature, right? And down here, you see that I have all the apps. Just come here and see that I have all, all my apps here working pretty fine. So I can load everything that I want a web browser, my calendar, my camera, whatever I have here. So I can do my presentation just simple like this, okay? So loading something here, see, via web browser, and it's pretty fine, okay? And something important as well, this cable, uh, I will leave the link here in the description for this one. This cable works with this phone, okay? I was trying different cables, it doesn't work. So it depends on the cable that you have, this one is pretty good to connect phones. I can also connect my computer to a TV, my phone to a TV, whatever I want to connect. This cable works pretty well because sometimes we just try new cables, it doesn't work, right? So this way you can connect your phone. So basically without cables or using cables with Miracast, if you have this option available, if you don't just try cables or other solution like connect another device here as I was explaining, okay? So I hope this helps. Please leave your comments here, subscribe to this channel, and I see you in the next video.